Hi there. Today I wanted to uh, demonstrate again how uh, how we can use Shalex's uh, dam it uh, dam sealer. It's a polymer product that's used to uh, to fix leaking dams. We've been contacted by uh, a customer and uh, they've had a real issue with a dam that was constructed some years ago. You can see that the dam is uh, is is basically empty. Um, we've come out and had a look at this to see if uh, this might be uh, a suitable project for using our, our polymer um, to stop leaks. So this dam has never held water. Um, some of the things that we, we need to try and understand is you know, what's likely to be causing the problems here. Um, typically there's two problems. One is poor soil and the second is poor construction technique. This, this area has lots of dams in it, so generally you'd have to say the, soil hold, the water holding capacity of the soil is pretty good. But there's definitely some issues in terms of where this dam's been placed and how it's been constructed. What we feel has happened is that they haven't actually constructed a key. So I'm standing on top of the dam wall. You can actually see it really drops away quite significantly. The dam is not that big, and the reason that it's not that big and it's not that deep is because there's a massive amount of soil that's actually been placed here in order to, to dam. If they'd have travelled further down into that water course off to the side where the grade isn't so steep, they could have actually got a deeper dam and uh, it would have been much easier to construct it than pushing it hard up against the top of the hill here. And so what happens in those situations is that we end up with the water travelling down along what was natural ground and it underneath all of the soil that's been placed on top of here. So whether this is clay or whether it's, it's, it's good material or bad material, if you don't cut a key, you really can't stop the water pushing underneath your dam wall. So we've got a, a massive slope working against us. We've got a dam wall that's been constructed and this is just a, a, a problem waiting to happen. And of course, once this area had rain, the owner has said to us it never fills up, it never holds water. We've basically uh, said that we will come out, we believe that, that we can solve this with our dam at Polymer, but because of the challenging situation, um, we've actually got quite a sandy soil. We've done a jar test, and I would recommend a jar test is done uh, to assess how much clay and silt that you actually have in your soil. And we'll actually show you an example of a, a jar test that was done here which shows the, the relative ratio of, of, uh, of rock and pebble uh, to sand, and then your finer particles, your, your clays and your silts, and then your organic matter, which tends to float. So what we've said is, given that the soil is poor, we actually need to bring in some clay, and the best way to do that is to bring in a bentonite clay. So we're working with a contractor here. Um, what we believe we can do to, to rectify this situation is, is actually take away a section of this dam. So this entire strip through here, which is likely to be where there's the most pressure when this dam is full, this is where the leaks are likely to be. Not back in natural ground there, you can see the colour of that clay. There's actual reasonable soil there, but that's not where the water pressure is at the top. The water pressure is down along this constructed wall. So the plan is today with the um, with the skid steer, we've got a decent sized skid steer, we've got a couple of tonnes of bentonite. The plan is to basically strip out this entire layer, place the bentonite, which means you've got a layer of clay, but we're also going to spread some of our uh, dam seal polymer over the top of that. Um, our polymer works really well in conjunction with uh, bentonite. It can reduce the amount of bentonite that you need, and it also helps to bind it together like a glue. So, Typically bentonite works by, by compaction, uh, but because we can't do a deep excavation here, it makes it very, very difficult for us to compact that bentonite as much as possible. But by blending it with our dam at polymer, you're actually helping glue it all together. Okay, so we've got the bentonite down. You can see that the, the powdered bentonite is actually quite a fine product. I'm using a broom, but you could probably use a, a, turf, uh, a turf spreader or um, uh, or a rake, but the idea is to get a light coverage. We're probably a couple of bags short on bentonite here. Um, normally you'd be looking at about uh, 10 kilos per square metre of surface area to get uh, good coverage, but 
Obviously we're going to be putting our dam at dam seal polymer on top of this as well so it'll be working in conjunction with the bentonite um, and we're placing it over the area that we feel is the biggest risk for leaks which is obviously not the entire dam, that back edge of the dam is less of an issue. It's the front edge of the dam where water can actually travel in down through natural ground and underneath the wall that's been constructed because we're pretty sure there, there hasn't been a key cut before this wall's constructed. So you can see we've actually got a, a nice thick blanket through here. We're going to run the polymer over it. But it's basically just a, a sprinkle through and try to do it when there isn't a lot of wind because if there's a lot of wind what you'll find is it'll all be blowing back towards you. Ideally you want it a nice even coverage of it. So we're just going to work along the bank here and then I'll come back and walk through the middle before we put our uh, topsoil over the top. Okay, so what you can see, we've now got the bentonite down, we've now uh, got the polymer, the dam at uh, polymer over the top of that. And what we're doing is we're basically now bringing in a layer of soil to sit over the top. So that, that uh, forms two functions. One, it stops the um, material from blowing away or from washing away if we were to get uh, water coming in here. And also it helps aid with compaction. So compaction is key to help seal the dam. Now if you were applying our dam at polymer over a dry dam, what we suggest is you just rake it in. You don't necessarily need a machine, but given that we had to spread the bentonite, we've got a larger area, we had a silted up dam, we've made a decision to bring in a machine. And that gives us the ability to basically run this material out so that there's a reasonable cover over the top and also track roll that in. So we're actually compacting it. What happens is the dam at polymer binds all of the bentonite clay together and the soil heaps, keeps uh, it in place so that when it gets hydrated um, it, it basically swells and it stops the water pushing through. So compaction is key whether you're building a new dam or, or you're, um, uh, you're renovating. It really does keep your clay in place and it stops water passing through. So we've just about finished the project here today using Dammit Dam Sealer which is a, uh, a dry polymer that you apply either to the surface of the water when your dam has uh, got water in it or as you've seen here when your dam is empty. So we're just, we've got a final trim happening but we've basically laid down some bentonite, laid down the polymer over the top of it and most importantly we've actually put a layer of soil over the top and compacted that in. So that's been track rolled with a full bucket uh, so there's quite a bit of weight gone into that, but compaction is key. It's really important that you compact uh, and that's going to help you hold water. But uh, we're hoping this demonstration is, uh, is showing you how our product can be used uh, to help you hold water. This is a, a really challenging uh, situation, a dam that hasn't uh, held water since it was constructed. And rather than reworking the entire dam, uh, we've managed to uh, repair this, uh, rework it with a machine, uh, some bentonite clay and the, the shalex uh, polymer um, and it's taken us a bit over half a day and this is the end result so uh, we should be able to come back to this one and show you a dam full of water we're just waiting for some rain